Hello ladies and gentlemen, so today I'm going to teach you how to use MultiMC and how to install it and install Java as well as you have to install Java for this one. This is basically a replacement for Twitch slash Curse Launcher since it's getting worse and worse and I don't see it getting better anytime soon and they're trying to force you to look at all the streams and crap. This is a much, much better way. So let's get started, shall we? First, we're going to go to Java. I'm going to have all three links here, including a mod pack. That's the third one. Uh, uh, how to download it. So basically when you go to the Java site uh, you will agree and you'll download the version you uh, require now. I would recommend you download the offline version uh, exe and x64 64-bit version. Do not download the x86 unless if you must because of you know using a 32-bit operating system and uh, the first thing you want to do is install it we probably went black screen for there. Uh, OBS basically will go black screen when that happens, but basically the little window came up to agree to uh, launch as an administrator. We're just gonna install it, default installation, We'll let it do its thing. We're going to go to MultiMC now, and uh, this one will also be the second link in the description. And here we'll download MultiMC itself. So you can just go download install and download 32 uh, slash 64. It's a 32-bit version, uh, nothing too special there. And then we're going to click here, and we're going to just drag this on our desktop. And uh, there you go. And you can put it anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be on your desktop. That's where I just chosen to install it. Uh, you can see it's still installing Java. I'm going to wait till Java is installed just so it works a little bit better uh, so you don't get a weird uh, issue. Then we're going to install a mod pack. Now you can go to mod packs on the CurseForge site. I, per I prefer CurseForge itself than the Curse site. Uh, it's minecraft.curseforge.com. And uh, actually, popularity, there you go. We're going to try Project Ozone 2 Reloaded uh, for this example. And basically, we're going to go Files, and the version we want to download is 2.3, which is the top one right now. And we're going to actually download that. Not uh, We're not going to do anything else, but we're going to actually download it. Don't click their install or anything funny on their site, and you'll see it do its thing. Java is installed now, and we're going to drag this onto the desktop. Actually, we'll drag it into the MultiMC folder. And there you go. And that's all you need from the browser. We can ignore all that. And we're going to double click MultiMC and bring it up. And we're going to double click MultiMC again. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have British English or Canadian English. You just click American English. I know that's shameful. Uh, that's how it is for now. And, uh, well, actually, you could probably go translations and uh, who knows. Uh, anyways, <laughs> the nerd of my, me kicked in. It'll automatically grab the Java it recommends right away. It even stars it for you. Now, memory allocation. Uh, this is the amount of memory Minecraft starts with. Uh, I think you can do this individually per pack or uh, do it for this. I'm going to recommend 496, I believe, for Project Ozone. You can, might get away with three. Uh, there's some versions of Minecraft where you might even need five or six gigs, but I think we'll be fine there. Uh, but you can always change it. Uh, it's going to talk about analytics and it wants some basic information. I'll allow it because I want to support them on that. And there you go. So it's up and running and uh, even has a little check here where you can click refresh to check out the server status of Mojang. And then we're going to go up here to new. We're going to import the pack. Don't do the URL stuff. Not worth it. Click the dots here. And our project, it opens by default in the folder itself. So because we drag Project Ozone in there, the zip file, it works in there. And we go import. And then it's going to extract the mod pack itself. And uh, at first, it might act up. This is normal because guess what we have to do? We have to update it. And I wanted to do that on purpose. I wanted to show you what would happen if you don't. So we're on version 0.5.0. Uh, depending on your version, you might eventually watching this video, this might work. If not, this is what you have to do. Basically, open the settings button, which was this little icon right here, the little computer with a, a chisel or a hammer. And uh, you'll see the first one is MultiMC. And you want to go down here and check development instead of stable. You're going to go close. And then you're going to go right here where it's a little package with a up symbol, which is the update package. And we're going to click this. And you're going to see the change log. We're going to go update now. It's going to do its thing. It's going to download. It's going to relaunch pretty damn quick. And then we're going to go new again. And then you'll see up top it says 0.6.0 .0 development. Uh, so if it's 6 
plus basically you know you got the right version we're going to do this all over again and now that error shouldn't exist and if it somehow does happen again any other errors just rerun it in a few minutes it should work sometimes the curse site's acting up sometimes your internet might be acting up maybe the firewall on your computer is acting up so if you've got an antivirus or a firewall going you might want to temporarily disable them at least while downloading these packages as some of them are known to affect the java files and there you go that's it now what we're going to do is we're going to create a profile you can launch it and probably do it there uh, so you can do manage accounts and we can add one and you can add your information here so i think this is mine but i've recently changed it so uh, i always am kind of like on my tippy toes changing the information on it so i think this is going to be actually wrong i think i changed that oh no i think i got it right there we go. And then you just double click it and uh, that's it. It'll get the, of course, the library files. So, you know, like for the launcher itself, it has to download all the library files, uh, things that like allow you to use your mouse and keyboard input, the graphical rendering, things like that. All that's being downloaded, even the basic assets like the textures and things like that uh, that are used in vanilla Minecraft are all getting updated. And then uh, the game itself should show up here in a second. And there you go. And as you can see, Forge is already working. This is the Forge screen. So we know everything's working great. And uh, that is that's it. That's literally all you have to do. It's simple. It's basic. You can have multiple instances. Um, I don't know if you can update it. I've never tried updating it. Uh, my screen does full. I don't know if it's doing this. I think this is my thing. I have a, an application I highly recommend. It's called uh, Borderless Gaming. Basically, I run Mojang or Mojang Minecraft in window mode, but the Borderless Gaming itself uh, will maximize it and uh, keep it window mode but give you that full screen window mode where it's just easier for things like obs or navigating around uh, i'm just looking at here i don't know if you can update it itself um but that's something uh, you'll have to learn on your own probably let's alt f4 out of here we probably can't alt f4 because that's how java works here just being a pain we can just end task it quickly there there you go uh there you go close there's an edit instance. There is, I don't see any kind of export. Yeah, it looks like you might have to uh, create another instance and then probably import some of your, uh, like your world file and things like that, which is kind of probably common. Uh, you might have issues with that. No, as long as you include the full world folder, you should be fine. Um, there's instance settings. We'll see if there's any kind of update thing here. No, but this is where you can override your default memory settings. Uh, so you can increase this perm gen shouldn't matter because Java eight doesn't require, uh, perm gen it's, it's set automatically, uh, and you should be using Java eight plus, but, uh, hopefully that's a quick rundown on how to use multi MC version six, uh, for the, uh, development anyways. And, um, Hopefully this was a decent guide and uh, thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing, commenting, liking, all that fun stuff. And we will have a server up in the near future as well for Project Ozone 2. So check that out when it's out.